Running a small inverter to charge a phone or laptop from your car is as simple as plugging into an accessory socket and flicking the switch for 240 volt power. But if you want some real grunt to run a coffee machine, television or even larger power tools, you'll need to get your hands on some wiring. Watch this simple guide to create your own safe and reliable inverter setup. This projector ProWave inverter can deliver a constant 1800 watts with a peak of 3600 watts. So choosing a mounting location with plenty of ventilation is essential to ensure a long service life. Try to keep it close to the supply battery if possible. A shorter cable run means less voltage drop. With the inverter securely mounted, it's time to think about wiring. Many more powerful inverters come with a wiring kit. If this is not long enough, you'll need to calculate the correct gauge wiring needed for the longer run, easily done using a calculator found online. Connect the positive and negative cables to their respective terminals on your inverter. Some models may have a third terminal as a 240 volt ground. Connecting this on the projector charger is optional as the unit takes its earth through the negative battery terminal. Ideally, your negative cable should run straight to the negative terminal on your battery and the positive cable must have a fuse or circuit breaker fitted as close to the battery as possible. The instructions for your inverter will state the amperage required. In this case, it's a 250 amp circuit breaker that cuts the power should anything go wrong. Finally, with all the connections made, tie up the supply cables tightly with cable ties and wrap them with corrugated tubing where extra protection is needed. With a high power inverter installed in your vehicle or caravan, you'll be the envy of the campground as you power those luxuries you just can't live without.